everyone and welcome back to Behind the Tracks. My name is Cynthia and I'm your host for this talk. This week we have a special guest. It's Simon Waghorn. He's our regional vice president for APAC region here at New Tracks. And he's here to talk about the three biggest benefits of having a payload system for underground hard rock mines for trucks and LHGs. So hi, Simon, and welcome. Welcome to our show. Um, you can take it from here. What are what are the, some of the top three benefits of having a payload system? Hey, Cynthia. Um, good to be here. Good to speak with you today. Um, so I guess the, the top three benefits for a payload system in underground hard rock mines is firstly maximizing material movement. Um, second benefit is removing human error from your production management system. Mm-hmm. And that's improving the overall equipment utilization and efficiency of your haulage fleet. So um, so maybe I'll give a bit of a bit more detailed explanation of those three. Yeah, that would be great. So the first one, it, it sort of depends on which type of system that you that you try to implement or you implement within your fleet. Um, and what really needs to be understood and appreciated is not all payload systems are the same. Um, there's different technologies used. Um, there's different implementation styles, and there's different accessories associated with those payload systems. Um, so the benefits can vary. But in, in, in my opinion, if a payload system is not providing direct feedback to the person who's influencing the amount of material that's going to be moved from the loading point to your stockpile or your ore pass, then the benefits can be really quite limited. Um, so really, what's the point of running a report at the end of the shift that tells you that your truck was only filled to 90% of capacity. You know, how is that maximizing the material that's moved by your haulage fleet? So it, it really doesn't. Um, what you need is a payload system that provides the operator of the loader with immediate feedback of the total weight that's been loaded in the bed of the truck so that person can ensure that it's filled to capacity every single time. And if you have this type of system, you can empower your loader operators to do the absolute best job possible every day and every day and all day. So the the real first benefit, again, assuming you buy the right type of system, as we've outlined above, um, is maximizing the material moved by the haulage fleet and then enabling short interval control to take place in real time at the point in the haulage cycle that has the greatest impact. And that's at the beginning of the haulage cycle. So the second benefit is really, as I said, removing the human error when it comes to real-time data production and shift management. So again, depending on which system you use, payload systems enable automated data capture and communication in real-time or near real-time to a production Mm -hmm. management system. And this is really important for two reasons. So payload systems enable accurate shift progress to be tracked. And if there are delays or problems, they can be identified during the shift and rectified. So visibility of accurate material movement is critical to running a high-performance mine. So removing the human element from data recording is essential as all humans are just humans and we all make mistakes. And the second reason why it's important is payload systems also enable you to run a real-time production management system without the need for a system administrator. So I talk to a lot of supervisors, a lot of mine managers, and specifically underground mine managers. And one of the major hurdles to the adoption of digital technology that they state is people skills and resource availability. So really simply, a lot of mines don't want to invest in people whose sole job is entering data into reporting systems or overloading existing supervisors with data entry when they're really supposed to be managing the mine. And look, I can I can really understand that point of view. Yes. And hence, exactly. So automated payload systems with real-time data communication and reporting provide significant management benefits without the overhead costs associated with employing more staff. Definitely. I'm, I'm surprised that not all underground mines kind of by default have that just because it just seems like such a game changer to just be able to record things in real time automatically with no errors. 
Yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, definitely seems like a huge benefit. Yeah, it is. It, and again, going back to the type of system that you buy, um, previous generations of payload systems weren't as reliable as mm-hmm. Utrax's payload systems, for example. They're a different technology set. They're more stable. They re- rely on less calibration, which means that people trust them more. Um, and if you don't trust the payload system to always provide you automated, accurate information, then the benefits can be reduced as well. And the third benefit is really trying to improve the overall equipment utilization and the efficiency of your haulage fleet. So when you introduce payload system that's integrated with an OEM agnostic machine telemetry system, you can really start to improve and understand um, the overall efficiency of your haulage fleet. And it's important that the system that is implemented for your machine telemetry is not OEM specific because you're inevitably going to have more than one make and model Mm -hmm. of trucks on site just like you have one type of loader and more than one type of drill. So if you want to maximize the efficiency of your truck fleet, you need to know exactly how much material the truck is carrying, so that's your payload system, how much fuel it's using, what your cycle times are, how often it's unavailable due to unplanned maintenance, how specific operators and their behaviors are affecting the performance of your fleet, and if you have a reliable payload system that's integrated with a uniform telemetry system, really start to understand how your equipment and your personnel are performing, and then you can take action to improve the overall efficiency and the financial performance of your mining operation. Amazing. Okay, so if I were to summarize, and if I understand correctly, the three biggest benefits are, number one, maximizing the material moved. Um, The second one being the removal of human error and real-time recording of data from an automated system. And third is improving overall equipment utilization and efficiency. Yeah, that's exactly it. Thank you so much, Simon, for joining us. That was a lot of really insightful information for our audience. If anybody has any questions for Simon, uh, please write them down in our comment section or send us an email. We'll be glad to answer your questions. And if you have any suggestions for other topics, for further episodes, we're completely open to exploring them. So thanks again for joining us. Thank you so much, Simon. We'll get on that follow-up call for IoT Hub next time. And... um, Again, thank you so much and have a a great rest of your day. No worries. Thanks, Cynthia. It's been great to talk to you today. See ya.